All right, we're here with the Glad Rap Channel. It's your boy Scope in the house. I'm joined with Kerry uh, Davies. And uh, yeah, we're here for bout number four. I'm here to introduce in the red corner, Kavish Kuma. And he'll be taking on... Uh, Ready to the roof corner, ladies and gentlemen. Aung San. Aung San. So it looks like the red corner, he's uh, coming from the art of boxing. They're based in Manukau. And he'll be taking on Ann Sung from um, Isaac Peach's... Uh, Looks like he's a, another boy from Peach's gym here, Scope. Yeah, in the blue corner. Here we go, guys. Fight number four on the way. It's another three times two-minute fight here at the Open Champs. Looks like both boys are just trying to get a feel for it. Oh, nice. So, what do you reckon what what, uh, weight division this one is, uh, Gary? I'm not too sure. It'd be a light, well, I think it's lightweight scope, but um, I didn't actually hear what the ring announcer said there. But, um, yeah, it looks about the lightweight division, I'd say. Um, again, we've got the blue corners, tall and long, lean. And red corner looks a little bit more thick set. So, again, see how these styles um, make out here. A bit of a cagey start from both. So we're here at the um, ABA Scope. Have you um, you fought here many times yourself? Yeah, I've had a couple of fights here. Um, now this is the home of New Zealand boxing. You know, there's so much history here, and it's. Uh, if I do get the opportunity to fight here, you know, it's really good. It's not too big, it's compacted, but it gives the ambience, you know, the crowd's live, and that's what you want, you know, yeah, you feeding off the, the crowd's yeah. um, energy yeah. as well. The only thing I, that I must say, though, like, uh, if any of the officials do watch this video, I must say uh, it gets heated up in here, so uh, some air conditioning yeah, some or air some, might go down well, some yeah. fans will be good. <laughs> yeah. Nice blue counter in there uh, pretty well. Very close first round there, Scope. Um, yeah, blue corner there seems very, again, pretty quick hands in and out, um, countering well. But red corner trying to walk him down. Um, yeah, pretty close round. I'd, uh, it's very hard to separate that one. I don't know, like uh, from what I saw, I'd probably have to just slightly give it off to the blue corner. I think, um, you know, both of them were feeling their way out of the fight. And uh, I think red just came off second best of that in that first round. Just a few more clean shots there from blue, yeah. We've got two more rounds, so, uh, you know, it's anyone's game. Another boy in the blue corner here finding out Peach's Gym. So, um, yeah, Peach's Gym producing a lot of good fighters here on the Auckland scene at the moment. Um, amateur, corporate and professional. Um, I actually happened to fight one of their boys about six weeks ago, um, Ruben Webster from the Peachy Gym. And uh, yeah, they're uh, definitely uh, doing good things out there and got some real good talent. It was a good, definitely a good fight that you guys put up, you know, it was a split decision from, uh, you know, from the judges for what, to what we saw up here. We could have gone either way, so uh, yeah, like you said, uh, you potentially like a rematch on that Yeah, it's a close on scope, so we were trying to get a rematch towards the end of the year, yeah. Oh, that would be good for, you know, the fight community, if you, if you for the fans. Fight, if you don't get to him first. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful double jab straight right hand there from blue corner. Nice. 
very fast the way he's come in and he's sung there on the blue corner he's very uh, yeah he gets himself in and out real quick very springy footwork So just to let you guys know at home, um, yeah, we're filming here from Gladrack Channel. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe and uh, follow all the um, getting all the uh, best coverage of the New Zealand boxing scene. Uh, just going off that as well, Kerry, you can uh, subscribe on YouTube. That's Gladrack Channel, or you can go to the Facebook page, Gladrack Channel, and uh, yeah, follow the the boxing scene. There's a uh, there's a lot of uh, good things happening in For the sure. fight fight business uh, as well. Uh, I must say with um, joined with Josh, we, we linked up an interview with uh, Kingston Eclipse, he's a pro wrestler, so it's something different as well, so um, like I was saying, Glam Rap Channel, we're uh, not just focusing on the boxing itself, but more of the fight business, fight entertainment all around, so yeah, that is good. Good stuff. Good end to the round there for Blue. Some nice combinations being thrown. Um, yeah, really, he's very impressive the way he gets in and lets his hands go. Just lets off two, three, four shots and then straight back out very quickly. Um, invades and doesn't get caught himself. So uh, very typical to the amateur boxing scene, the in and out style. Uh, the hit and don't get hit style, you know. They, uh, yeah, as an amateur, I was always taught, you know, that very springy, using the footwork to not get caught. And, uh, yeah, not standing around trading and... Yeah, taking any unnecessary. Shots. I must say as well, Kerry. A quick question as well. Going uh, back off what you're saying, um, you know that's how you're taught as an amateur. I don't know. I haven't been an amateur myself, but uh, do you think from when you were an amateur to now, or what you're seeing in the New Zealand fight scene, uh, is that what the judges are still looking for in the amateur? Scene? Yeah, definitely in the amateur scene. I've always sort of scored on um, showing your skill set. You know, so those it's like setting it, setting skills, your punches and yeah, the skills they teach you in the gym. The um, Basics, you know, high hands, good footwork, in and out movement and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, each judge their own. Some, some like to go for pressure and ring craft, um, ring possession. Each judge their own. But I've definitely myself, I like to appreciate the, um, the nice, flashy amateur technical skills. And for me, this uh, blue shown a little bit more in this case. Good combos there from Blue. You can always guarantee um, good work rate in the amateurs. You know, they, uh, these clubs, they definitely get in fit and condition. So, um, um, uh, uh, this is actually my second uh, amateur um, fight event that I've actually been to. Or I haven't been to much amateur events, but I must say, man, I'm very impressed by the work rate here, eh? Yeah, the, uh, they're definitely getting fit and conditioned in the gyms. So this red corner here just seems a little bit frustrated. He can't really work out um, Blue's tempo and he can't really close that distance. So he uh, kind of needs to start moving his head a little bit more and, um, yeah, really trying to walk Blue down, shut that range. Wait yourself, Scope. What um, what style of fighting do you uh, do you go for? Well, um, if I was uh, having to be a judge for the fight, I'd I'd definitely have to uh, like yourself. I I look for like the the setup, the skill set, and uh, definitely pressure is a must. But then again, you know, a lot of guys are uh, fighting on the back foot. You know, they can show yeah, great. Yeah, I was gonna say yourself. When I've seen you fight a couple of times, you um, you like you like to kind of back foot and, and yeah. Well, um. You know, I'm still trying to learn my craft. Yeah, sometimes it depends on the on the other guy's style. Sometimes I like to fight on the back foot. Sometimes I like to stay in close. For yeah, the whole they fight. say styles make fights, you know. So um, mm. yeah, a lot of it depends on who you're fighting. And yeah, but 
that's why good when amateurs it's good to learn to fight each and every way you know going forward backwards um counter punching all different styles and then and then uh, apply it to your whichever opponent you got i must say uh kiri um Floyd Mayweather versus Conor McGregor is coming up just around the corner. What's your thoughts yeah, on that? Yeah, the biggie, the biggie, yeah, the talk of the uh, talk of the century. Yeah, um, yeah, very exciting for that one. And uh, as Who? much as a lot of boxing purists are a little bit disgusted by it because it's yeah, kind yeah. of an MMA guy coming over to the boxing scene, but um, oh, I'm not going to lie, I'm going to be glued to the television when that one's yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, I'll wait. definitely be tuning in as well. So. Yeah. Uh, I'm not really much of a gambler, but I've already put $150 on Floyd. Like oh, you, you know, yeah. like he says, easy work. Hard uh, work is easy work. Uh, you know, uh, I'll, I'll give it up to Connor. You know, coming in to the boxing realm and taking on, you know, like the best. He's a character for sure. Isn't he? Yeah, he's definitely an entertainer. Um, but yeah, I'll say for the way I look at Mayweather, he's had what 49 people now, top quality um, opponents, all come try his way, telling him he's gonna, gonna knock him out and. Uh, None have succeeded so far. Yeah. So, is Conor McGregor going to be the uh, lucky number fifty that, that gets it right? <laughs> but and coming from a different sport, coming from the MMA background, but uh, so we have to wait and see. Uh, uh, just going off that as well, Kerry, um, they've actually announced the undercard for that fighter. I was actually impressed. I saw a few names, Sean Porter's name in that in there. Yeah, there's some big names in there. There's some uh, world title fights that they're making happen. So. Uh, Will it make people buy the pay-per-views? What's your thoughts on that? Yeah, well, that's right. Who's done that? Well, uh, just going off some of the names, I'll just quickly... Okay. Get it for you. Um, would you, like right now, like, um, do you know about the undercard so far or not yet? I don't know. No, I haven't seen who's on the undercard, that one. Right. Um, but you don't, okay. You don't know about the undercard, but would you buy the pay-per-view? Would you pay? Buy it. Um, would you buy it? Yeah, to be honest... Boxing for me is entertainment, and would I be insane by that? Most definitely, you know. Um, it's a little bit strange, you know, but um, oh, um, yeah, I, I will, I will buy it. <laughs> I saw something earlier this week as well. Floyd, um, you know, wanting to take the gloves down another level and go a ounce, you I know. Wants to go lighter, okay. Yeah, he wants to yeah. go lighter. You know, he's he's saying he wants yeah. to knock him out. 